All right, we have a buy or sell debate of sorts. I guess we'll see if it's a debate, if we all agree one way or the other. But buy or sell that Miles Sanders mm. will be a top 12 running back in 2020. So, Miles Sanders took over the starting role in week 11, finished the season in half point per reception leagues as RB15. He had weeks, week 13, he was the sixth running uh, overall running back, week 15, the third, week 16, the seventh. Um, a strong finish to the year. Won't require offseason surgery for the injuries that he's suffered uh, recently. From week 11 on, when he was the starter, he was the running back seven. So we, we know for sure that he can uh, deliver a top 12 type of performance. The question is, Will he be given that opportunity That's next rough. year? Because this year it took, obviously, a lot of injuries, injuries everywhere for the Eagles. Primarily it was Jordan Howard. That was the first, you know, rung on the ladder. And then all the wide receivers started going down. Well, so D-Jax was the first. Sure, but I'm saying yeah. the, at that the, point in the season, the first thing that propelled Miles Sanders to relevance gotcha, was gotcha. Jordan Howard going down. And then if you look at the, the second half of the year, the amount of – targets to the running back position that the Eagles uh, between Boston Scott and Miles Sanders it, it became necessary because they had no wide receiver weapons so th the real question is they've they've clearly seen that they've got something special here if you didn't pay attention the the last part of the year Miles Sanders was excellent right yes. like I, I think people would be surprised if you didn't have Miles Sanders to know he was the running back 15 on the season yeah, he was the 53rd overall pick in last year's draft. We know the talent coming out of Penn State. But the question has been opportunity. I think the line, the top 12 line, that seems like the right number to me. Mm -hmm. Like, that, I'm really on the fence here. I'm buying or selling him as a top 12 running back. I'm going to sell it. I think okay. he will not quite be there next year. I think some of it goes to what Jason is talking about, opportunity, um, presented itself at the end of the year to propel him so high. Um, I think he's going to be right on that razor's edge. But here, here's what I know. Before this season, Doug Peterson believed in the, you know, he acknowledged the reality that injuries happen massively and you need depth. This is why this backfield has always looked comical with Corey Clement, Darren Sproles, Jordan right. Howard, J.J. Uh, you know, they draft Miles Sanders after they sign Jordan Howard. I think Jordan. I think Miles Sanders is an incredible talent, but I believe that Doug Peterson fundamentally believes in great depth. And if you combine the return of wide receivers with great depth, I think he's going to be right on the outside looking in of that top twelve. And as a dynasty owner of Miles Sanders, I'd much rather buy it. But I'm going to sell. I right now I'm going to buy. He was. We talk about running back fifteen. He's about fifteen points. Off of that top 12 area, Alvin Kamara was the running back 12 on the year. But what's interesting is, I mean, how little he actually had the workload at the end of the year where he was really cranking up the numbers. 50 receptions. That's where it's going to come down that's, to. That's awesome. Like, yeah. As, uh, when he was not really the full-time guy until the last quarter of the season. And then on top of that, only three rushing touchdowns. So running back 15, he had – three receiving touch touchdowns as well, but only three rushing touchdowns, which if he is the primary guy, that easily goes up. I mean, Jordan Howard was a was a rushing touchdown machine to start out the year, so I will buy. I will buy that he could be a, a top 12 guy. I think there it will still be a committee, but I it wouldn't surprise me if that committee heading into the year is, it's like, it's Sanders and Boston Scott. Yeah, I, I agree with what Andy said earlier. The, this line of saying top 12 is perfect. Yeah. I went and I looked at, okay, top 12 running backs, what does that take? What you know, How many carries do top 12 running backs get? And pretty much across the board, you need 200-plus you need carries. Unless you are uh, Austin Eckler with 132 yeah. Yeah. carries. Get because, done. That did go into my head, though, the Austin Eckler line as the template for top 12 for Miles Sanders, the passing game work. Yeah, I just don't – I mean, Austin Eckler was 108 targets. That you know, That's that, absurd. That's not happening for Miles Sanders. I'm going to sell here because what I care about is 
the start of the season next year. Now, for dynasty purposes, long term, I think he's a very solid back. He's young. He's talented. I, I like the Eagles' offense. I like Carson Wentz and a healthy crew around him to be a top-half offense. So I'm, I'm pro Miles Sanders, but I do believe that they will have another back there. I think Boston Scott played his way into a relevant role, a la that Darren Sproles role, and I think it'll be too much of a committee for me to project him as a top 12 back. But the touchdown argument that Mike brings up is a really solid one because Jordan Howard was a, a touchdown machine. Well, and that, and that brings to mind like who they sign matters. Like they're yes. they're going to. It's not going to be like I don't. I I'm sure you weren't inferring just those two. Like there's going to be more pieces of the backfield. Miles Sanders in this extended improved workload over the back half of the year got hurt twice, like two different times. So it just validates this thing that Doug Peterson's reiterated before that it's a, you know, it's a grueling position. You know, his quote, I believe the National Football League season is a grueling grinding season, particularly on running backs. And if you don't have a couple of guys you can hang your hat on, it's hard to get through a season. If you bring in a guy that's going to take the goal line, that says a lot. You know, that changes the projection to me. Yeah, if they, if they were to, say, re-sign Jordan Howard, now that he had his injury that his free agent market might not be that hot. Maybe they're able to re-sign him. We've seen him play that touchdown role in this offense. I would expect that to continue. Yeah, it'll be it'll be very interesting going into next year to see what they do at the running back position. They obviously drafted him with high draft stock, so that means a lot. Hey, guess what? Click that subscribe button, and I might send you something in the mail. Maybe you should do it.